Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark here with Driver67. So today is going to be a guide on how to sea foam the Mazda CX-5. I'm going to assume you know what sea foam is all about. And if you want to find out what is the problem I'm trying to fix, check out this link on the top right here. It's a little card, so click on that. It will explain a little bit of issues with direct injection engines and uh, carbon buildups. This right here is a 2.5 liter Skyactiv engine on the CX-5. Uh, the Mazda 3 also have the 2.5 liter engine and this is the non-turbo version. So the vacuum line you want to remove is this one right here, just located after the throttle body. So it is held together by some sort of uh, tension clamps. So you have to use the plier to loosen up the clamps and pull out the holes. So now I replaced that hole there with uh, another hose. Uh, this is my hose here that fits into it here. You can find one that fits over it. It's fine as long as something that covers over that uh, opening. You might also notice the new hose I introduced on the other end of the hose is a cap that covers over it. My preferred method of introducing sea foam to the engine would be to fill up a syringe with sea foam and injecting into that hose later on. Now with everything ready, I go ahead and start up the vehicle. And now I remove the removable cap and also make sure my thumb is covering over the opening so not too much air goes into the engine and slowly inject the sea foam. It is good to control how much air goes in uh, because the more air goes in, the higher the engine revs so you want to make sure the engine doesn't rev too much. So just make sure not a lot of air goes in while you introduce the sea foam. And if you notice, my thumb is covering over it when the engine is revving too high. Let's cover the hole so to reduce any vacuum leak. Again, vacuum leak equals higher engine revving. When you're done injecting, just uh, take the removable cap and just cover over the vacuum. You might have to do this a few times, reloading the syringe and just to get to the amount that you want to introduce into the engine. Once you got the amount of sea foam you want to put in there, cover the vacuum holes and stop your engine. So I'll let the engine rest for about 10 minutes and while it's resting, I uh, reinstall all the hoses back and also put back the engine cover. So after the 10 minutes wait time, start up your vehicle and maybe rev the engine slowly uh, to like 4000 RPM and then take it for a good hard drive. So drive it like you stole it. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. And if you have any questions, just leave it down as a comment below and I'll get to it. Thank you very much for watching. This is Mark, signing out.